Wilburn Jurgensen uh, reigns as one of the founding fathers of watch industry uh, overall. He was born here in Copenhagen uh, in 1776 and uh, accounts for, for multiple talents uh, even through his youth. Um, he uh, was finished with his regular school at the age of 15. Uh, today one would call him a genius. Uh, he received lectures at the university level in three languages and physics at the age of 13. And uh, he was continued uh, educated by his father in the Copenhagen workshop until about the age of 21, where his father figured that he needed to travel abroad uh, to learn more. He studied with uh, Breguet in Paris, among others. He studied with uh, Arnold in London. And upon his return in the beginning of the 18th century, he wrote uh, the uh, landmark book, um, The Art of Accurate Time Measurement uh, by Use of Clocks. And uh, Urban was a physicist and a theoretic uh, founded uh, person. And this was a bit new in the watch industry. Previously, it, has been, it had been a lot of uh, experimental things with constructions and, and, and principles but he really laid down the fundamentals. Uh, his sons continued his legacy uh, after his death in, uh, in uh, 1834, and the family of watchmakers continued um, excelling uh, worldwide in um, the art of fine chronometers. The company uh, has won a total of 34 gold medals and awards throughout history uh, at the world um, exhibitions around the Paris and Geneva, uh, Chicago, etc. And um, the last Jurgensen died uh, in 1912. So we really have a fundamental uh, uh, impact uh, in the watch industry as a whole by Urban Jurgensen and, and, uh, and the, the dynasty that he belonged to. The company in uh, 1912 uh, then passed through several hands uh, but never ceased production. So we are dealing with a company with 242 years of uninterrupted operations. And uh, in the later, later period uh, of the 19th century, uh, a young, uh, very talented watchmaker by the name of Peter Baumberger came through Copenhagen and saw the, the shop and the very fine uh, Jürgensen watches and wanted to acquire them. The shop owner uh, uh, unfortunately told him that you know, these were part of the company and part of the company museum. So uh, they were not really for sale, but for Peter Baumberger, that was just the start of, of, of the conversation. And uh, he ended buying the entire company in uh, 1985. He then proceeded to uh, build uh, wristwatches as well as very fine pocket watches on old ebush from the 18th century that was left over in the company and finished uh, a total, we believe, around six to 700 watches in the 30-year period leading to his unfortunate uh, death uh, in, in 2009. Now the Urban Jürgensen company uh, was taken over by uh, Dr. Helmut Krott, uh, who was a dear friend of Peter Baumberger and had assisted him with developing the uh, world famous and, 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 and uh, world's only patented detent chronometer for a wristwatch. But uh, Dr. Kotz was an auctioneer uh, by trade and, and just wanted to ensure that the company was kept in good operating conditions and found then in myself and uh, five other selected investors uh, here from Denmark, a new ownership circle. And we acquired the company uh, a year ago now in, uh, by the end of, of 2014 in November. We have now uh, very carefully, with great respect uh, and a lot of humility for this history, started a voyage for the brand where we very carefully building upon uh, the, the ethos of Urban Jürgensen and our history, will um, develop uh, still very, very fine handcrafted uh, timepieces in a very limited volume because it is handcraft. Uh, and we take it in very small steps. So this is kind of 
240 uh, years plus in, in a nutshell. Um, fascinating, fascinating story.